there's the myth that we have to, um, that the client needs a solution. Uh, most of the time, it's the coach's need to feel useful. But predominate, yeah. Because actually what the client may need, the more likely to need, is simply an advancement in their thinking. They may actually want to be able to take all that away, talk to other people or something, then they can come to a solution on their own. But they don't necessarily need a solution within the session that we put, the coaching session itself. But of course, if we are nervous about our ability as a coach, and they haven't got a solution, we feel we've failed them. But actually, we haven't if they have made a significant advance in their thinking about the issue. Please. What I've discovered in my coaching practice is that actually sometimes the, the most important and meaningful results come after the process. Talking about life coaching processes or more or less 10 times, 10 meetings with the client, some of the most significant results come after the process because they're exactly. really changing the, the paradigms of the person that they're working with. Yeah. yeah, the belief systems basically. It's a long process. It doesn't happen over a, over a session, over a night, over a month or so. Yeah, so we're not just giving them a pill or an injection, we're giving them a, something that actually changes the architecture of the brain, ultimately. And that takes time. But we beat ourselves up as coaches if we don't see the coach making change. We don't know what's going on inside here.